So I graphed this on the last video, and over here we put it on, on the software. I'm going to, I forgot to mention the transformation. I'm going to graph the first function, the main function, or it's called the base function. These are called functions, and you'll learn what that is next year. But it's just the equations that start with y equals are called functions. So I'm just going to graph the thing x squared, the main one. And I'll show you how it changed. Okay. It should have appeared maybe because I have capitals. Let's try that again. Let's get rid of the capitals, y equals x. It does make a difference if you have capital letters or small letters. Okay, so you had to have small letters there. So look here, they look exactly the same. Okay, this and this are, they're exactly the same. They have the same shape, so they're congruent. They have the same shape, they're congruent. But look, this one's gone down 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. It's actually gone downwards by 10. So we're going to type in, I'll type in, you write in the transformation. We'll come back over here. And we'll put the transformation, which I missed over here, and I'll type it. There's my typing skills here. And here we call this a vertical translation. Okay, it went down 10 down. Or you can go down by 10. So I just go 10 down. Okay, so it went down by 10. Vertical translation, 10 down. Okay, now we're going to go to the next one. So question two, we have two to graph. And we have this negative 2, okay? So for this particular one, again, we're going to start off. This is our starting point, 8 here. This 8 is our starting point, okay? This negative 2 tells you the shape. The negative 2 tells you the shape. So if you have 1, 3, 5, you take these and you multiply by negative 2, okay? So instead, you get negative 2, negative 6, it's going to open down negative 10. So it's going to go negative. It's going to reflect. So we're going to have a reflection in the x-axis. We're going to have three lines to fill in in a second. Let's now go and graph it. Okay, so we're going to go here. Remember, it starts at 8. i got to remember that starting point, and it goes negative 2. So it starts at 8. So let's go to the graph. We're going to put a dot at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We have a dot right there. Okay, we go over 1 down by two, over one, down by one, two, three, four, five, six, over one, down by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, same thing on the other side. When it's negative, it go opens down. Okay, it's a reflection in the x-axis. So here, and the last one, if these are symmetric points. I'm just matching up the point. Whatever you have on this side, you have on that side. These are called symmetric points. The hardest part now is, for me is to actually draw this line to hit all those, or this curve to hit all these points. Curve it around. Bring it back. Arrows. Okay, I'm going to have two graphs on here. Let's label it y equals... Let's see here, this is 2, negative 2, x squared plus 8, because we started at the 8. Let's see if we did it right. Let's go to our computer program over here, or our GeoGebra. Okay, let's just do new. Let's start a new one. Don't save. Let's type a new one in. y equals negative 2. 2x squared plus 8. 8. Okay, there it is. Okay, look, the x-intercepts are the same as ours. 2, negative 2. Okay. And over here, it's like over 1, down 2. Over 1, down 6. So there's our graph. We did it right. Okay, now we're going to go and have to type the transformations. There are actually three transformations here. I have lines. Let's see if I can start a new. Uh, it's going to tell me to just type in here. So I will. I'll just type on top of here. So the first one, that negative, the negative here, that tells me it's a reflection in the x axis. Okay. I'll just keep typing here. The next one here, that 2, it's not a decimal or a fraction. It's a vertical stretch by 2. And finally, that 8 at the end, the plus 8, the graph went up 8. 
So we say this is a vertical translation eight up, or if you want up eight, I don't care which way you type that. Okay, so we've got this, and now we're gonna go to the next one here. I'm gonna go to this graph here. Y equals 0.5 X squared minus two. Okay, this is the shape, the 0.5 is the shape. So again, we're gonna, let's just use a different color here. Let's use blue so we can, we can tell the difference. We go one, three, five, we multiply that by decimal five. So you get decimal five, 1.5, and then you get 2.5. Next one's gonna be 3.5. Our starting point, negative two. Okay, let's go to the graph. So we start at negative two, we start here. The graph opens upwards. Okay, well, how do we know that? It opens up because it's positive in the front. This is our starting point, negative two. Now we're gonna go over one, then we're gonna go over one, up 0.5, over one, up 1.5. Okay, so let's go to the graph. Over one, up 0.5, right here. Over one, up 1.5. Over one, up 1, 2.5. Over one, 0.5, 1, 2, 3.5. These are symmetric points, so I can just add the other one on the other side. This one, oh, same intercept, interesting. This one is a symmetric point, just goes there. Halfway, a little bit higher, should be halfway, about here. This one matches up over here. Let's do our best curve through all these. Let's see how well I do on this one. I come up, 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 up. I add my two arrows, two graphs on one grid. Got to label it. Y equals, this was a 0.5 and it was positive, 0.5 x squared minus two. We labeled it. Okay, let's go to GeoGebra. Let's go take a look how this would have looked. So I can put both on the same graph and just hit enter for the next one. Y equals 0.5 x squared minus two. And we've got this nice orange color. So is he, both the intercepts are in the same place. It comes around, it's flattened, okay? Or it's compressed. Let's now go over to our transformation. Let's not forget to add the transformation down here. So I will type it because it's a little bit neater than, okay? So first, it's a vertical compression by 0 0.5. So this number in the front tells you it's compressed. And there's a second one, there's no negative in the front. The next one is, okay, it's a vertical translation down or two down or down two, whichever way you want. The negative two tells you it goes down two. So vertical translation two down. So we only have two transformations. Okay, now let's go to the table here. One more, there's our graphs. Table. Now, we don't have to graph it to figure out the transformations. We can look at the number in front of the x squared, the five. And from that five, we know this is gonna be, from that five, we know it's gonna be a vertical stretch by five. The minus 12 at the end tells us it's gonna go down by 12. So it's gonna be a vertical, translation down 12 okay now here the negative in the front tells us a reflection so we're on the second equation so the negative in the front tells us there's a reflection in the x-axis okay next the point one since it's since it's smaller it's a decimal it's between negative one and one this point one tells you it's a vertical compression by 0 0.1. And finally the 20, it's positive, so it goes up by 20. So now we have a vertical translation, 20 up or up 20, whichever way you wanna write that. Okay, now I would like you to finish the tables and do the other graphs.